Hey. I kind of like this seat. It's pretty comfy. Hi guys, it's Lori. And we're on a little date day, I guess. Not really, but we just went to Rural King and Hayden's with us today. You can see the little McDonald's bag there. He was a little hangry on the way over. So before we went to Rural King, we had to get him a cheeseburger. Didn't we, bud? Yep. Yup. But we've already been to Rural King and I got some clips in there. I'll put those in at the end or when I'm done chit-chatting, which isn't gonna be very long. But right now we're at the Asian Grill Buffet. So we're gonna run in there and see what kind of food that's probably really unhealthy we can get into in there. Get the sushi. The sushi? No. I won't be having any sushi. That is just not, mm -mm. no, that is not for me. food and I ended up getting sweet and sour chicken. I keep it pretty simple at buffets most of the time. I did start out with a salad though and some rice and some green beans. And now I'm gonna let these two guys over here enjoy their meals without a camera in their face. Then we're gonna head out to Rural King and I'm gonna take you inside with me and we're gonna do a little shopping and see what we can see in there. Before we go in though, I did spot some free wood outside so I thought, eh, I'm gonna go take a look and see what they have. Honestly, most of it's probably good for campfire kindling, but they do have some over here that is kind of, would be nice for like maybe shelves in a barn or a shed or something like that. But yeah, nothing I was real interested in, so I didn't take any of this, but it's there. It's there for the taking. Well, let's head inside. I'm looking for some ferns and I'm gonna put a couple ferns on my front porch this year. They have some really pretty ones in here for only $14.99. So that's a pretty comparable price with like Walmart and other places like that. But I still need to look at the greenhouse and see what they have there. I feel like it's a little bit early to get this fern yet because we're supposed to get some freezing temperatures overnight a couple nights still. So I think I'm, thinking I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer for that. I spotted the clearance cart. <laughs> There's nothing in it that I was real interested in though, so I took a quick glance and passed on by. Hens and chicks, I just wanted to take a look at them. I have plenty at home that I don't really need to buy any, but these are $14.99 for this basket full. And most of them have little baby chicks coming off of them too, so that's nice. See, like this one. Lots of little babies. And I was watching Vicki Marie Living Life a few days ago, and she had done a shop with me at Big R. And she was showing some shirts that were really cute with chickens on them. They have them here too. $3.93 for these shirts. These were on sale for whatever reason. And I have to tell you, I thought of Nona Grace a couple different times while I was in this store. So yeah, just like potato chips, you can't have just one. That just put me in mind of Nona Grace. 
So they do have lots and lots of graphic t-shirts here for really pretty good prices. So if you're in the market for something like that, Rural King's a place to go. And over here, some more clearance, but I did pass this by because it's all fishing items and I'm really not in the market for anything like that. So I passed this on by and decided to meander down the tool aisles while Hayden and John were off doing their thing. They were off in a different area of the store at the time. I'm looking for some tin snips. That's what I'm kind of looking for. But in the meantime, I'm just kind of glancing around, seeing what they have. I kind of like looking at the tools. So anyway, I spotted the tin snips over here in this corner. They range anywhere from like $16 to 20 in that area. I wasn't really sure which ones to get. So I don't know. I was debating. Do I want to pay that much money for them? I don't know. I didn't know what kind of price they were anyway. So then around the corner, I spot the three pack of them. I'm thinking, huh, I don't really need three of them. I just need one. But the price is better than the whole, the, the three pack price is better than the single ones. So I'm thinking, are they chintzy or I don't know. I'm just debating. I don't know if I should get them or not. Hey, there's Hayden and John. They're over there looking at the guns. That's what they've been doing while I've been over here going through the tool aisles. And I've also been wanting to pick up some wood glue sticks, the hot glue, wood glue. And I saw the Sherbonder wood sticks. And I know that's a good brand, but I didn't end up getting them because they're actually the fat ones and I need the, the skinny ones. So I passed on those. And then over here, they have this poster hanging up or sign. It's not really a poster. It's a wanted sign, wanted by police. I don't know what these guys did, but apparently they did something to make them wanted by police. <laughs> then John decided to join me in the tool aisle. He's wanting to get a socket set, so he was just kind of looking around at them. We have a couple at home, but they aren't complete, which is frustrating because it's always the one you need that's not there, right? So he sees this one, pretty good price, $17.99. We'll look at that later when I do my haul, because we did end up getting that. And over here in the adhesives, I'm just looking around and I see this, this JB Quick Weld. I just ordered that from Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere in the store. And here it is right in front of me, but that's okay. The price is comparable to what I paid on Amazon. So that's all right. Candles, they have lots of candles and oh, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I smelled every single one of these candles. Well, I mean, all the different kinds. Some of them were a little more like fall. They had, they had like all the seasons of candles here. The farmer's market one smelled a little bit like fall. This cozy cabin, it smelled amazing. And it could really be for any time of year. Here's the raw cotton. That to me is like a spring and summer scent. The cotton candy, that's just like a summer scent to me. And then over here we have the apples and pumpkin right next to it, which is more like fall. I mean, they really did have like all the seasons here, <laughs> but these candles are really, really good quality. Here's some more, uh, something else I should say that put me in mind of Nona Grace. They have some really great home decor, some signs. They actually have lots of them, but this one right here, Fresh eggs from spoiled rotten hens. I immediately thought of Nona Grace. Yeah, really good prices on these signs too, in my opinion. So then I turn the corner and I think, oh my gosh, look at all these signs. <laughs> Tons of them. There's a bumblebee gnome, if you're into that kind of thing. Down here, I absolutely love this sign. It says scatter kindness with these like dandelion things on them. Love that sign. And all the while I'm looking at these signs saying, I think I could make this one. I could make this one, <laughs> you know, and this one's got like the handle and the hinges, but they're actually a, like a thin plastic. So anyway, let's just put on some music and see what we can see here.
It looks like it's got an egg down here. <laughs> he was just telling me that these move. Yes, they do. Little breeze and those things would move. Look at that. <laughs> those are super cool. They're pricey, but they are super cool. Look at these whimsical looking ones. So cute. <laughs> Look at this guy. They have so many unique yard decor items here. It's it's crazy, especially if you're into like that farmhouse vibe. They definitely have something for you here. But another thing that I've kind of been eyeballing whenever I go out into the stores are the welcome signs. That's another thing Vicki Marie said too, that she's kind of been looking for one too. But every time I look at them, I think I could make that. I know I could, but these are 20 bucks. And I mean, they are nice, but like I said, I just know I could make them. This one is metal though. And let me try and show you on the back real quick. They do have little things that you can hang it up if you want to, instead of leaning it. But I was thinking more of, you know, leaning one, like a wooden one. So yeah, I'm just kind of looking at it. And they have these like decor, yard decor things with like the solar eyeballs in them. Look at those angels, they're huge, they're gorgeous. So anyway, lots of these things with the solar eyeballs. I don't, I don't know, John doesn't like them and I kind of don't really like the eyeballs like that either. I'd rather they weren't solar. I didn't, you know, lighting up and I don't know, just kind of creepy. But anyway, look at these bird baths. Are those not gorgeous? They are just beautiful and they have dragonflies on them. They're beautiful. Yeah, and then I spot the owls down here. I really like that. I, I would even consider buying that, except they have those eyeballs. So Hayden wants something different to try. He likes to try different things. I think that's awesome. He's looking at this asparagus. We'll see what we end up getting at the end. And speaking of different, look at this peanut butter. Banana chocolate chip peanut butter. I think I'll pass.
have a little haul from Rural King. I got some of these chips, the fire roasted sweet corn potato chips. A friend of mine told me that these were delicious, a must try. So I thought, all right, it's a six ounce bag. I'm gonna give those a try and we'll taste them and see how they are. John got a couple boxes of ammo and he picked up this socket set for himself because he can never find the right sockets because people don't put them away where they belong. So hopefully he'll put this up and nobody will get into it, I hope. That's the plan anyway. I ended up getting this set of vice grips, or vice grips for crying out loud, tin snips. <laughs> I don't need three pairs, but this was the best price. So I thought, whatever, I'll just get it. And I also picked up these for myself. I don't know why they're wrapped in this plastic. Well, I don't know. I guess so people don't mess with them. But anyway, the long nosed um, needle nose pliers and some wire cutters. And these were $4.99, so I grabbed those because I do need some new needle nose pliers. Mine are terrible. Okay, I also picked this up. This candle, I got this for my mom. Let's put this over. For Mother's Day. It's so pretty. It says McCall's Country Canning on the top. And it is a really nice, pretty jar with a handle. And it smells amazing. It's the, let's see what exactly what it says. The raw cotton is what it says. And she loves the any of the clean cotton scents. Oh, she just loves them. So, and this does smell really nice. See if I can get it off with one hand. Yeah, there we go. It's got two wicks, if you can see that. It does have two wicks in there. So I know she's gonna like that. And that'll be for her for Mother's Day. And this is what Hayden ended up picking out was the the hot pickled asparagus. So there's that. And we also got a jar of this red plum jelly to try. And I think the jars are really cute too. These were only a dollar ninety nine, and it's an eighteen ounce jar. So we'll try this out. The boys do eat jelly quite a bit, so me and John we pretty much <coughs> Winston. We hardly ever eat it, if ever, honestly. But we also got an apple jelly. This is Chase's favorite. And I just told him the other day, oh, I'll have to get you some apple jelly if I think about it. Well, there it was, $1.99 for this 18-ounce jar. So I grabbed it. That's everything we got.